Hello everyone, uh, thanks for joining today's Words of Wisdom. Today is from January 8th, but the one from January 8th is um, the one that I've done in the past episode. So I actually chose a uh, true wor uh, words of wisdom by myself from the rebirth of Buddha, from page 100, and I quote, Know that those who fight anger with anger shall never become a person of virtue. You must never, ever give in to anger. End quote. By the rebirth of Buddha. All right. So I chose this one because I know a lot of us are suffering from uh, anger issues uh, or irritation or being upset easily. You know how when we get upset in life, um, of course, there's probably a justifiable reason for us to get angry. But what's actually happening is it's a poison of the mind. Right? So it's like we're injecting poison inside our mind every time we get angry. And not only that, as we read in today's words of wisdom, um, the more angry you get, the less virtuous person you become. And this year, which is the year, the year of the laws of Messiah, uh, Master is teaching us it's very important to become a virtuous person. So, so then how do we control anger for our own sake of happiness and, of course, for the sake of happiness for the people around us? Uh, one way is to know why we get angry. And um, in this Kilten, the Ten Principles from El Kantari, Volume 1, in Chapter 5, page 173, he explains why we get upset. I'd like to quote from this Kilten. Then why do people get angry or upset? It happens when people see the other person not acting according to the way they want them to. Anger arises automatically when expectations are not fulfilled. End quote. So when things don't go the way we want it to, the emotion anger wells up. But obviously, if you listen to it like this, if you look at the reason why we get angry from this kind of like, and really uh, simply explained words, it's kind of stupid to get angry, right? Or it's more, mm, it's very selfish to get angry if you think about that. So uh, first thing is really, I think it's important to understand how foolish it is to get angry. It's better off not getting uh, upset. So then how do we do this? The mo However, we are a human being. Um, it's a natural instinct that occurs from our uh, biological, you know, I guess self-preservation, an instinct that we have as a human being. So how do we uh, stop ourselves or give it, uh, stop ourselves from giving in to anger? One way that Master has taught us is um, the moment you feel an angry thought come out, before it comes out as your words, don't talk for 10 seconds or keep silence for 10 seconds. That's one way that Master has taught us on how to control anger. And within those 10 seconds, it's important to calm your mind. The second thing that he's taught us is, um, I'm just saying this off the top of my head, but going back to this Celt and 10 Principles of El from Alcantara, he teaches us that the, the reason why we get angry is for selfish reasons, that it just things didn't go our own way. So, the moment you get angry, stop yourself and try to look at that situation from the other person's perspective. There's probably someone else involved when you get angry, right? But when that situation occurs, stand, put, place yourself in the shoes of theirs and try to see the situation from their point of view. And then you start noticing that, huh, Maybe he or she thought like this. Actually, that's very similar to the way I thought. If we're thinking similar things, isn't it unfair for me to just get angry? Now, that's one, one um, train of thoughts. Also, um, yeah, just trying to see yourself, seeing the situation from the other person. It'll give you, um, it, it works as a deterrent from you to getting angry. And then the second thing is try to see the situation from an absolutely third person view totally someone else. From a completely objective perspective, how would you see the situation? Kind of like a mediator between the two persons involved. 
And then the third way, I think this is the ultimate view, but try to see it from God's view, or God is looking at this situation, or higher spirits, angels are looking, and bodhisattvas are looking at this situation. Uh, when that occurs, when you try to see it from that higher perspective, that really has an instant effect to try to calm your anger. So that's another way. Uh, also, a third way that uh, changing your perspective, right, is the second way. And then the third way, this is interesting, using um, a physical, physical uh, move. But um, Messrs taught us that long, long ago, he taught us, put your hands in prayer when you feel angry. He said that the more that when you put your hands in prayer, it's hard for you to say harsh words or to give in to anger. It just turns into like a block from you to getting angry. So um, that, of course, is another way. So uh, please try using these techniques. Uh, also, um, there's a full lecture uh, that Master has given us. It's called Anger Management. It's less than an hour, but it's a phenomenal lecture. And Master is saying that controlling anger is the path to becoming a master. Meaning becoming a master is like the master of your own mind and um, the master meaning a higher level in spirituality. So um, anger management is something that's really related to, closely related to uh, our daily discipline and enlightenment. And as we have learned in today's words of wisdom, it actually leads to virtue. So let us all continue uh, with the exploration of the right mind using these points as hints. To close it off, let me read today's words of wisdom. Know that those who fight anger with anger shall never become a person of virtue. You must never, ever give in to anger. Thank you, Lord. And thank you, everybody, for uh, watching this video. Uh, if you like these kind of videos, please um, like and subscribe. I upload this every day and hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.